final trip back to the base. Let's go on this side. Varl? We're about to head off and fight the Zeniths. Give us your blessings, please. For the new world. I thought we might get a few extra lines here, but all, all that needs to be said has already been said. It's time for us to get going. Okay, before we actually do though, I just remembered I put on this bow, wanting to try the Berserker Hunter arrows, but I never got around to doing it. And I don't want to try it in the middle of doing the quest and all that, so can we find like a, a creature somewhere close to here? and see if we can just say we've tried it. This one entire arrow type. Like, I just want to say that I at least know what it does. Something about building people up into a berserk state and then they'll go around attacking people around them. Kind of like overriding then, but not. Oh, I might have more luck with machines on the other side. This side doesn't seem to have too much. Maybe like over there? Okay, here we go. Oh, sun wings. That's gonna be kind of annoying though. Wanna see how this goes? Okay, that didn't hit it at all. None of this is hitting. That's it. A machine in the Berserk State will fight anything, including you or allied machines. Oh, so it's gonna fight me as well. It's not an override, because it's dumb. Damn. The other Sunwing's also fighting it. It's not nearly as helpful as an override. In the heat of battle, I'm not sure if that's a good thing then. Just because it seems kind of volatile and unstable. Okay, well that wasn't really too much experimentation, but we did it. Easy, Maybe I'll keep it then. Maybe I will keep it, and if we have a chance to use it in the fight, sure. But it's taking up the one slot for my purge water blastling usually, so that's what I'm worried about. But the purge water isn't... It hasn't ever been something that I've been too good with. It's okay. It's not like we can't change weapons in the middle of a fight anyway. Don't have to worry too much. Okay. Let's get going. Mm, you can see Varro's memorial from here. Gentle light. Watching over us. Little goat. Are you going to watch over me as well? I hope so. Okay. Probably should stock up on arrows and all that, yeah? I think we're good, mostly. Everyone's still the same old? Okay. Keep thinking. He's just gonna be standing there. Now the one... Yeah, so the one locked door, we have the materials to get it already, but even before then... Let's see. The one room where... Everyone... Oh, I should restock. No, that's not a stash. Where is a stash here? I do wanna... Isn't this a stash? It doesn't count. This is just the getting stuff place. The sleeping area? Was there like a data pad here I missed? Oh, in the very back here, I wonder. Common language? Ever since the expedition landed and we encountered barbarians, sorry Tanakh, a question has been gnawing at me. 
Given the massive distance between here and the Great Delta, how is it possible that we all still speak the same language? I mean, the legacy tells us that the ancestors had many languages. How did it all get reduced to one? Probably written by Alva? For questions like these, it's handy to have a friendly super intelligence around. I love Gaia. She's so nice and patient, even when I can't stop talking and bombard her with overlapping queries. And while she can't explain everything I ask her, for this one, she had the answer. Apparently, the Zero Dawn system was designed to release people into the world as young adults after being educated via the Apollo database. I sure wish I could have gone to that school. Students were to be encouraged to learn many languages, thus keeping alive the vibrant linguistics of the old world. But when Ted Farrow erased Apollo, he makes me so mad. Zero Dawn reverted to its default language, and that's all the kids in the cradle facilities ever got. So our ancestors, I mean, our tribal ones, not the legacy ones, all started with the same speech and never got to learn more. Mystery solved. Yet another rotten, completely unfair thing. That shithead, beg my pardon, did to the world. Alva. <laughs> Alva swearing. Yeah. Everyone thinking about Ted Farrow, you just want to swear. Nothing we didn't already know, but new to Alva. Good to know that there was some plans for keeping other languages alive. Yeah, because I guess in the context of Project Zero Dawn, we've usually thought about it as English only. But they do make mention that, hey, they wanted to keep all these cultures and languages before. Now the locked door, let's go find it first. We're taking those space lugs down. And just to be sure, can I talk to somebody randomly and see if they have more? Oh, good. You're back. Now we're almost ready. I should go. The ancestors walk with you. Hopefully not Ted Farrow. Now I gotta figure out which of these circles it's in. This one good? Riding in. This goes down over here. Another chat? I'm thrilled. <laughs> Did you wanna chat? What now? Not too much. Get ready. I'll leave you be. Then I will sharpen my blade again. Is this the outfit I want to go into the final mission with? What do we have to pick from? Utaru Protector. Uh, interesting, but... Uh, at the end of the day, I really do feel like... A Nora outfit would be... Not that the Nora really is something I identify with, but... You know, you go in as a Nora, you go out as a Nora. Not sure if I like the colors of... Uh, I dyed this myself, but I'm not sure if I like the colors more than before, though. The before version might have been... Oh, apply look. Let's see. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Let's do it. And... Yes, I was on the right track with the whole August and 8 thing. But what I failed to consider was that it actually needs to combine knowledge of several different data pads we've been finding around the base. And it's a bit mysterious to me why they wouldn't give me any sort of prompt from Aloy telling me that because they usually are so eager to give me hints and all that, but no. Especially because we've been to the base a million times across like 80 hours. So I didn't even remember which ones we had and didn't have already. But if we go to the RCC section. So the one that we found with Beta, the August one, is called Two Aloy. But aside from this one, there's also one... Look, one, a little flourish. Two, caterpillars and chrysalises. Three, the vault. And we need to look at these ones to find the entire code. One, regional control center nine. Nine. Sample 626. So 9626. 11 more weeks before we lock down the blueprints. 9626, 11. And then 8. Is that the full number of digits? Oh, I'm sorry, not the two Aloy one. It's this one. I meant this one. August was only 8. Yeah. So let's see. They must have all been written by the same person then. Yeah, the, the person who is August's dad. Nine. One of the Alpha Primes. 
Uh, 11, there. 8. Pretty similar to the Eileen Sasaki one, except really spread out. Oh, whoa. What is this place? A vault that nobody can get into. Got to be honest, I don't really know what to say to the future. So I guess I'll say something to the past instead. Mom, Dad, I know you'll never hear this, but I wanted to say thank you. For all those times you dragged me along as a kid to volunteer at Hot Zone Relief Centers. You used to say, you have to pay it forward. The future will always be brighter for it. I'm trying to live up to your example. I love you. We'll be together again soon. Fina Leon. The day I was supposed to meet my sister's new baby, a vert swooped in and a crew of mass commandos threw a bag over my head. Next thing I knew, I was being told how the world would end and given a choice. Die now or help Zero Dawn and die later. At least Nicole, Ella, and baby Aiden will be safe in Elysium. Gave up my allotment to make sure they could stay together. Oh my god. I don't know if any of this will actually work. Zero Dawn, cradle raised humans. But if it does, do better than we did, okay? We'll try. These are all people who worked on Zero Dawn. Emma Irving. Do, do I see it now? Okay. My name is Emma Irving, and I'm eight years old. And my favorite animal is a fox. Do you have foxes in the future? I hope so. They're the cutest. And super smart. Dad said we have to go underground soon. She's like a fox. And then the bad robots won't get us. So, I guess this is H and G. Hi and goodbye. Mm. Kalani Jensen. The last time I spoke to Leanna, they were just about to ship out to the Pacific Front. They really believed that if they could buy us some time, it'd be worth it. That Zero Dawn would save us. But if you were listening to this, then they were right. It was worth it. Their name was Leanna Jensen. 9th Civilian Guard Brigade for Operation Enduring Victory. And they were so, so brave. Ethan Reed, oh, the creator of these audio points. So, yeah, I told the rest of the team. I was standing in the cafeteria, trying to pick out a god-awful meal cartridge when it suddenly hit me. Every school field trip, August always asked me to pack extra in his lunch bag so that he could share it with his friends. I, I don't know how. I was lucky enough to end up with kids so generous. And I know he'd want to share this too. So, to uh, whoever finds this place, this was us. Insignificant in the grand scheme of things about the world's birth and destruction and all that, but each of these people had their own stories. This isn't even part of the base. Yeah, the caverns barely built. Is this a model of the base? Did it used to have a gigantic satellite thing? Hmm. Well, I'm glad we discovered it. Good blessings for what's to come now. Let's go. Well, I feel like we've never had an outfit this pink before. I'm a little bit not used to it, but hey. My allies won't lose me in the crowd, and I'll come out of this victorious and all that good stuff. If we have a stash, I really would like to restock my berries and stuff first though. I don't think I have a full thing. Do I? Or even like food. Okay, I've got mountain bread? I've got bread? Potions? I suppose that works. We should be fine. Okay, everybody. You all ready? Let's go.
Wait. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, I know, very anticlimactic. I wanted to check my my own room again one last time. Just in case. Any last... Oh, look at that. Elizabeth and Tilda had a history. The more I learn about her life, the more complicated it seems. I guess she saw something good in Tilda. I don't know what exactly, <laughs> but... Seems like it was enough. For a while, at least. When you're first dating somebody, you only see the good stuff, right? The more you date, the more bad stuff you see. Here's a stash. And maybe that's when Elizabeth realized that she didn't want to bother with whatever Tilda was a part of. Okay, now we're ready. Silence. Tilda? Trapped in a servant in hell. And I just don't know our words. Let's go. Meat and bone. I'm the last girl on earth. We're not gonna be the last people on earth, Aaron. This is the beginning. Okay. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? I don't believe so. Even this one, we've done it already. Yeah. So paranoid. It's like packing, making sure your door is locked before you leave the house for a vacation. All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside to this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance, most importantly from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. <laughs> All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood. Wait, who's not wearing a mask? Regala? Okay. You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? 
After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zenith. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. No, I don't want to hear that again. Last time we heard that was Varl talking about Beta. When Silence mentioned needing somebody else to carry the bag, my first instinct was no, don't, okay? Because it's gonna explode. So I don't trust Silence, I don't trust Tilda. This is a very uneasy partnership with multiple parties that we don't trust. But we have nothing else we can do. Hey, guess what? We can talk to people yet again. <laughs> Remember, we need to get Silence weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. I'll be gentle with it, I promise. Good. Without it, there's no payback. So, are you joining? Payback's all I think about. Playback is what you think about. So, are you really gonna join us? Is that okay? You know, with the baby and all. Aloy, are we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. You just saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. Well, bring an extra. Now besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. I wouldn't want to spoil your look. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varl. You know, I never knew he had a sister. Yeah, I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge, and how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. When we get back. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. Well, I kind of want to save it for, uh, when we get back. As a part of our victory lap. But alright. You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh. So, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Jaron's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. Yeah, she defeated all of them. Even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her that way. I remember you telling me something about that. That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but... 
But what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so <laughs> he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. And yeah, perfumes, veils and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. Mm. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. That would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border and none were the wiser. I wish photos were already invented by this point. You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. Good. We'll have more drinks when we get back. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Zo, how are you? Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Zenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Nothing worth doing is ever easy. Everyone here... training, working together. If it weren't for Varl... none of it would have happened. You know... There was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini. He realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there, just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. It's really crazy to think about how big the world is. Especially in a pre-electronics era. The concept of your local surroundings, it's as far as you can see. But what's beyond what you can see? We don't know, we have no way to tell. And then suddenly, you give them a hologram of the entire Earth and tell them, hey, actually where you are is just a speck, and the world's this big. It's mind-blowing. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. <laughs> we drank before the mission. Is that going to be okay? I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my soul. Oh my touch. god. For the both of us. So... Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? No try. We will. We will. Alva! You nervous? I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. So that regulator business is 
what Beta told me we were whispering about, what my sister was whispering about. Tilda? Tilda could probably bug the entire base if she wanted to know everything, though. I don't know, man. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me. Or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Fadera? Yeah, I think Alva definitely has a lot to think about after this. I welcome you to join me if you want to. And your family, if we can smuggle them out of the Quen place. Somehow. Who's this Federa you mentioned? She is another diviner. Mm. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the academy. <laughs> I hated her guts. <laughs> but apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. Oh. Oh. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? Uh, the stress and the years. <laughs> Talo will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katalo will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick, in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Is there any huge gaps in what we know right now? I'm trying to think of like what we might not know, but I feel like I don't even know what we might not know. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. What? Can we possibly learn that could change everything? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing, but I feel like they're leading... They're saying something, and... Yeah, I don't feel like it's gonna be nothing. Silence. Did you need something? No. It's gonna use a workbench. Oh, pouch upgrade. Sure. Sure. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Can we add the minimum the Berserker Hunter Bow right now? Can we upgrade it? The answer is no. Okay. Well, screw that then. <laughs> Just using the fabrication terminal, that's all. Yeah, we got all this stuff. Ugh. Something else? Nothing, apparently. What? I thought you had new stuff. I'll be going. As you wish. Wait, you actually don't have anything new? Yes. Okay. I'm done talking to you. Very well. Oh. That's a bit. Ah, nice. Wait, I didn't mess anything up, right? Well, maybe he just doesn't have much to say. <laughs> sure. Regala.
where everybody has stuff to say but not silence. He had a thing before we went to the upgrade bench. Kind of worried. Uh, maybe I'll reload really quickly and see if it's... If I can activate something else. Did you need something? Something else? No, I guess you really didn't have too much. Okay. Tell me about the weapon. I've upgraded it now emits a... <sighs> no, after all... Yeah, she, he yes. expects Tilda Suffice to tell to him the about weapon, the, the intricacies, intricacies of the, the base and all that, but he won't tell anybody oh, really? about how the weapon works. As you wish. Okay, I guess it kind of makes sense because silence... Yeah, we don't... Far. We're taking those space lugs down. Because we don't have any sort of sentimentality towards him, so we have nothing extra to say. But even Regala wants to say something, really? Another chat? I'm thrilled. You better be. Come to rattle the cage. No, that's it. I need to be going. Yes. Enough talking. They probably didn't expect that I would come back and then leave before gathering the companions. <laughs> And then come back again. I thought we were gonna be heading straight to the base. We, we still have like 40 minutes of preparation here. That's insane. No, 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 no. We're, no, we don't need to be back here. Let's go. We gotta go. I'm assuming Tilda might not have too much to say either. Can certainly check. Well, my own place. Any last reflections before we go off? I don't think so. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to upgrade my pouch again after talking to Silence. So. No, I don't return. What was the other thing I could have upgraded? Tripwire? Tripwire or Spike? Actually, Tripwire might be better. Yeah, fully upgraded tripwires. You return. Catalo, Tilda, Tilda. There you are. Would you like to continue our chat? I have nothing to say to you. I should be going. I'll be making final preparations. We never really discuss in depth about the nature of the Zeniths' immortality, but we know they can die. They're immortal from the um, aging perspective, but that seems to be it. Hopefully, anyway. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you. Catalo, I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together. And I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm. What? Before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Catalo, we've already tested it. Don't scare me like that. Now that training time is over... What's on your mind? The bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. I'll see you soon, then. It will be my honor. Your arm is okay, right? Your arm's here. We tested it already. Okay. One thing left to do. 
Only the people we have an emotional connection with had new dialogue. Makes sense. Alrighty then. Let us go. 